since Ukrainian forces have been able to reclaim Kharkiv region, which was under the captivity of Russian forces for several months now, there has been some startling revelations. In one such revelation, seven Sri Lankan nationals were rescued from one torture chamber, which was uh, from the Russian forces site. During the investigation, it was revealed that these seven nationals uh, were captured by the Russian forces. They were forced to do uh, some uh, work and uh, like cleaners and they were also put in very inhuman condition. These seven uh, Sri Lankan nationals who were in Kharkiv region uh, during the conflict, they decided not to run and they sort of hid themselves in the Kharkiv region only. However, once they were found by the Russian forces, they were put behind prison. Uh, there have been reports that they were tortured in uh, during a press conference. Ukraine, Ukraine. На Харківщині тривають слідчі дії в районах, які були звільнені від російської окупації. Фіксуються усі злочини парашистів, збираються докази їх винуватості. Знайдені катівні, в яких знущалися над мирними мешканцями окупованих міст і селищ, приміщення, в яких тримали людей, навіть іноземців. Зокрема, сімо громадян Республіки Шрі-Ланка, студентів Куп'янського медичного коледжу. Ще у березні їх захопили російські солдати і згодом утримували цих людей у підвалі. Лише тепер, після звільнення Харківщини, ці люди були врятовані. Їм надається належна медична допомога. Продовжується ексгумація тіл на місці масового поховання біля Ізюму. Станом на цей час становлено більше 440 могил. Про кількість похованих там людей ще зарано говорити, слідчі дії тривають. Вже є чіткі докази катувань, знущання з людей. Більше того, є свідчення, що російські солдати, чиї позиції були неподалік цього місця, стріляли по похованих просто для розваги. Світ повинен на все це відреагувати. Росія повторила в Ізюмі те, що зробила в Бучі. І ми зараз тільки почали дізнаватися повну правду про те, що відбувалося у цей час на Харківщині. Добре, що в структурах ООН вже готують групу співробітників, яка побуває у цьому місці біля Ізюму, яка побачить і зможе доповісти усім в системі ООН про те, що робили терористи Росії. Ми забезпечимо повний доступ журналістів до звільненої території усіх місць знущання з людей. Ми дамо такий доступ, який дозволить повідомити світу, що расизм має бути засуджений. Я дякую усім нашим партнерам, усім лідерам і просто нашим звичайним людям, які допомагають боротися за справедливість, боротися за офіційне визнання Росії державою спонсором тероризму, за посилення санкцій проти Росії за цей терор. Провів сьогодні ставку Верховного Головнокомандувача, як завжди були присутні ключові керівники сектору оборони і безпеки, ключові представники центральної влади, які забезпечують реалізацію оборонного задуму, командувачі оперативних напрямків, довели щодо ситуації на перспективі. Uh, clean the toilets and bathrooms. Uh, some days uh, Russian army drink after uh, bite our people, our Sri Lankan people. Uh, they also showed some signs of injury uh, marks on them. Uh, however, the veracity of their, uh, in their torture is being investigated. Uh, this is also an interesting point. Who are these seven uh, Sri Lankan national? Uh, of these six are men, one is women. So uh, it looks like about 90 Sri Lankan nationals were evacuated uh, since the war erupted between Russia and Ukraine. Uh, and of those 90 Sri Lankans, 16 were in students. So now these seven Sri Lankan nationals were undocumented in Sri Lankan government's list uh, because they do not have any, any information regarding who they are uh, and where from they came to Kharkiv. So uh, there is a most uh, probable scenario that several hundred Sri Lankan tried to flee uh, the island nation during the recent economic crisis. Uh, many of them were caught uh, on board in the in sea, uh, fleeing to Australia and other parts of the world. So in most likely scenario, this could be uh, one of the group which tried to flee from Sri Lanka to Ukraine uh, for the prospect of a better life. However, uh, soon the war erupted and they were caught uh, between the conflicting sides. Now, the Sri Lankan embassy in Ankara, which is also uh, handling the work of Sri Lankan embassy in Ukraine, 
is in touch with the Sri Lankan nationals uh, and they are trying to uh, verify their identity, their place, their location from where, the, uh, where they are uh, from Sri Lanka and what all have been uh, they have been through during the months of captivity under the Russian forces. This is uh, one of the very rare incidents where Sri Lankan uh, nationals have been caught uh, in this conflicting side and they have also undergone uh, a very uh, inhuman and condition uh, suffering through the uh, hands of Russian forces. Uh, in the light of the Sri Lanka-Russia uh, relationship which has been uh, a very robust and very strong relationship in past, in fact, Russia has also uh, tried to help Sri Lanka during the crisis of fuel shortage uh, and other humanitarian assistance also were made. Uh, and also Sri Lanka has maintained a very neutral stand in the war uh, that has been going on in uh, between Russia and Ukraine. Uh, something uh, that is sort of India's stand that the cessation of hostilities should be there uh, between the conflicting side and both sides should come back to the table for negotiation and dialogue and diplomacy could be the only way forward which can sort out this issue. I miss all those uh, reports of several uh, mass grave being unearthed, uh, tortures, uh, chambers, and people who have suffered uh, those injuries uh, from in the hands of Russian forces. This uh, latest revelation of seven Sri Lankan nationals being under captivity of Russian forces and having gone uh, uh, through this, this inhuman behavior uh, is something very uh, uh, revealing. Also, it was being said that these nationals were asked for money as uh, those Russian forces or Russian soldiers did not understand uh, their language. So uh, most of the time of beating or thrashing, the one word they could just understand was that these uh, the Russian soldiers were saying money. So probably that was one reason they wanted to extract some money uh, from these uh, Sri Lankan nationals uh, as, a, as a matter of it could have been some hostage thing or something. But uh, the more investigation into this whole episode of uh, Sri Lankan uh, people uh, being under the captivity of Russian forces and now being rescued by the Ukrainian forces uh, is being thoroughly investigated. Uh, and soon enough, the real stories will be out as to how they landed in the first place in Ukraine and why did they hide themselves there, how did they get uh, into the hands of Russian forces and their stories for several months under the those torture chambers and then uh, how they came uh, to be rescued by the Ukrainian side.